Hello, everybody, and welcome to part two of our horror Big Brother premiere. In the last episode, we explained the brand new twist for the season, the murder tokens, which Sadako was given the first murder token. Whenever someone gets two murder tokens, they are evicted from the horror Big Brother house immediately. And our lovely Demogorgon happened to win head of household. Because he's the head of household, he gets to select two people to nominate for eviction. And he decided Jennifer Check and Chica were on the menu, with Jennifer Check being his target for this week. Now, the rest of the house has to talk amongst each other. Jennifer Check and Chica have to build relationships with the rest of the cast. And later today in this episode, Everyone will compete in the veto competition. Well, not everybody, like six six people. That's how Big Brother works. But six people will compete in the veto competition and someone could potentially be taken off the nomination block and someone else could be re-nominated in their place. I'll explain more of how Big Brother works, but for now, let's let these contestants go and see what kind of shenanigans they get up to. Now, they should have autonomy. It's like, how do you deal with that? Oh, wait, where, where are they all going? Um, some of y'all may notice. Wait. Wait, where did... What? <laughs> what happened? That was weird. <laughs> okay, anyway. Unsure what happened to the, the door to the kitchen, but you may notice our backyard actually looks different. We had to change this up because it was glitching and messing up. So I'm going to try my best to replicate this each episode but some things may change but we'll just chalk that up to the horror big brother mansion you know just playing tricks on our eyes what is happening we seem to have a few people still shocked at jason Voorhees. jennifer Whoa. check she's gonna need to put in some work in this episode because she is in a dire situation the hoh seems to be targeting her and she doesn't really know whether or not the rest of the contestants in the mansion feel the same way. Like her s just standing around here doing nothing oh. is not helping her. She needs to get up and start moving and chatting. <laughs> I still can't. I can't with Xenomorph's tail. It's so silly. Oh, Valak, what are you doing, girl? Don't do it. Don't you do it. <clears throat> girl, what did Skelly Bear do to deserve all of this mistreatment from uh, the contestants Quimba. in this house? I don't understand it. Um, While we're up here, I think it's time that we unlock this door for everybody and have this bed be assigned to Demogorgon. As the HOH, this is his bedroom. He gets the witch's hut bedroom with his own personal bathroom, which is good. So he can tell whoever he wants to use these amenities if he wants. And he can also have secret meetings up here if he would like. Ooh, secret conversation between Amanda Young and Predator talking about vegetables. Exciting topics here, only in the horror Big Brother mansion. And I am shocked to see someone actually cleaning something in this house. Um, Megan ruffled so many feathers yesterday. I am actually shocked that she wasn't nominated, but she was one of Ghostface three potential people to get a murder token in part one. So she's gonna need to mend some relationships. And we have our first broken toilet of the season. <laughs> I, uh, it's only gonna be a matter of time until people start getting sick as well. It happens every season. Every time I do a reality show, the minute people start coughing and sneezing, I'm gonna need to inoculate everybody. Okay, this is really good for Chica. This is amazing. Chica needs to make friends because in the Big Brother mansion, you need to have allies on your side because it only comes down to two people who could potentially go home and you need all the friends you can get. Even if your friends are women wearing pig faces for a mask. Oh, okay, Tiffany. Tiffany's in her domestic era. That spoon is bigger than she is. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh, Jennifer. Jennifer's trying to get Tiffany Warm on her side. Class? Jennifer's very oh, like, Caro, you know what? Like, I really don't want to go home uh, first. Can you like, <laughs> can you like not vote me out? Thanks, girl. Who is sleeping at a time like this? Valak? Valak. Oh, she's just taking a little nap. Okay. 
It's all right. You've had a you've had a rough rough day so far. Nominations can be stressful. Oh my god! Wait, who peed in the bush? <laughs> what? How did I miss that? Someone peed in the bush. We have to be on pee bush alert. Hashtag pee bush. We have to figure out who's the culprit. Who's been doing this? You nasties. Wow, they are still having a conversation. Okay. We love to see committed alliances. And you know what, Jason Voorhees is back to practicing murdering people. You know what, as you do, it is kind of the point of being Jason Voorhees. And this is very astute for Leatherface. He is playing chess by himself. Who knew, a man who is a cannibal that eats other people, but also loves a good chess game on the side. And apparently mac and cheese. Hey, there's no human parts in that, but he might find it delicious. Now, someone in the house that we really haven't seen a lot about is Michael Myers. I haven't really seen Michael talk to a lot of people or interact. He's been kind of doing his own thing. So that could also be a detriment to his game. Or maybe he's just biding his time, waiting for the perfect time to strike. Oh, oh, they're going swimming. Oh my God, that was great. Look at that dive. That's that armor has to be weighing you down. Jennifer Check said, I will use all my assets to make sure I stay in this game. And you know what? I can't knock her for it. Okay, okay, Xeno more. Oh, what is happening? Um one of these mitts. No, both of these mitts are not are not working correctly. You know what? He's using them like floaties. It's all right, Xenomorph. If you're from another planet, you don't understand how this is supposed to work. I get it. It's fine. At least you look great. And your tail could potentially destroy the equipment in this room. <laughs> what was that? What was that noise? Do I hear an argument? Oh, look at Michael Myers having a conversation. Not me calling him out for being a loner. And not... <laughs> Not Freddy Krueger's yeah, knives yeah, going yeah, into yeah, his yeah. into his hand. Oh, okay. We have dust bunnies. Oh my gosh, they haven't been cleaning up this house, and we have dust bunnies. I can't remember. Can someone die from dust bunnies? <laughs> Please. Please, someone let me know. I hope to God not. Oh my God, the dust bunnies are everywhere. <gasps> Shit. Hey, listen, they might be one of the 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 new contestants, or maybe they're the new Julie Chen Moves. Post a Big Brother US. Yo, Valak, I'm gonna need you to stop attacking Skelly Bear. This is the second time this episode, and I, I have issues with this. Not, not, oh my, I thought she was about to sleep with Demogorgon. Are totally not human, definitely living in the upside down. <laughs> Demogorgon, you watched part one, you you know that for some reason Demogorgon has a human uh, skin for his sleep mode. And you know what? I'm not going to change it. That's the new lore. Y'all didn't know that. They're going to cover that in the new Stranger Things season, I think. Oh my God. Another contestant has entered the horror Big Brother mansion. And just like that, there she goes. Oh my God, Amanda Young scared of rats? Who would have known? So as people go to bed and get some sleep and have like late night conversations, in the afternoon tomorrow, we're gonna do our veto competition. Now, how veto works in Big Brother is that the head of household, the two nominees and Xenomorph's tail, no. And three people selected at random will compete for the power of veto. The power of veto essentially allows you to save one of the nominees if you want to. So whoever wins the power of veto could potentially save Jennifer Check or Chica from being eliminated. Because the series is fully automated, the way we, de we determine that is based on relationship scores. If, say, Megan, who's not one of the HOH or one of the nominees wins the power of veto. Whoever she has the highest relationship with will determine what she does. If she's got the highest relationship score with the HOH, she won't use the power of veto and keep the nominees the same. If she has a higher relationship score with say Chica or Jennifer Check, she will use the power of veto to save one of the nominees. So it's definitely gonna be interesting to see how everything plays out this week. Can someone let me know in the comment section how to get rid of dust bunnies? I don't want to tell them to like clean up the dust, but uh, I, I also don't want them to stay because I don't know if they turn into anything bad. <laughs> Pearl, what you doing? Not this time of night. Don't do it. Darkness! She's trying to find that crocodile. 
For those that don't know, there is a crocodile that sometimes shows up in the pool. And in my headcanon, it is absolutely the crocodile from Pearl. Oh my God, wait. Late night rendezvous between Pearl and Tiffany. Don't land on her. Don't do it. Don't do it. Are you? No. <laughs> She's lucky. She could have killed her. <gasps> oh my God, it showed up. Yes. <laughs> oh my God. Oh, I love her. Love her, love her, love her. Hey, oh my God, Leatherface hates women. Just let them be. This, there's a lot happening. And you know what? This is the fun moments that you get late at night in the Horror Big Brother mansion. Pearl and Tiffany just enjoying a night swim. Leatherface getting mad at people for getting things wet near the pool. And a crocodile showing up, potentially Ooh, killing you all. Oh, here he goes. <laughs> <laughs> um slay that's the only thing i can say in that scenario slay oh my oh my god oh my god megan yo okay that's not fair though because she's she's like a robot like what muscles are you training girl tiffany i need you to go to bed but tiffany for some reason no one wants to sleep in this room if jason's in this room everyone is scared of jason wait who took yarny oh my god we got a thief we got a thief in the house. There were two Yarnies in this room. Okay, let's see, let's see. I'm gonna check everyone's inventory. Who do, okay, comment down below who you think stole Yarny. No one stole Yarny. Where did Yarny go? Oh my God, is this room actually haunted? <laughs> what? Oh, that's, that's actually really creepy. I actually got, ooh, ooh, I'm getting goosebumps. Ooh, I don't like that. See, we mentioned this in part one. I think our robot girls are making an alliance. Chica and Megan might have each other's back because they have sh uh, similar shared experiences. All right, it is the next day in the Horror Big Brother Mansion. I think we're going to get set up for the veto competition um, here in a little bit. And we're going to figure out who... Oh my God, don't kill yourself, Ghostface. <laughs> we're going to find out... Oh, oh, wait, pause. What did I say? What did I say at the beginning of this episode? What did I say? Someone's gonna get sick. Okay. I, uh, it's only gonna be a matter of time until people start getting sick as well. It happens every season. Here we go. It's happening. I'm gonna have to give everybody some medicine. What I was saying is we're gonna be doing our veto competition soon. Uh, but first, I need to take care of this little problem right now because it's gonna spread to everybody in the house. I'll set up for the veto and we'll see you all in the veto competition. It's now time for the veto competition. As I stated earlier, six of the contestants from the Big Brother house will compete in this veto comp. We have Demogorgon, the HOH, Jennifer Check and Chica, the two nominees, and chosen by random draw, we have Amanda Young, Xenomorph, and Sadako, who will be competing for the power of veto. Now, whoever wins the power of veto can potentially save one of the nominees from eviction. But let's get into how this veto competition is going to work. In this veto competition, we continued with the Halloween theme as we celebrate the trick or treat season, e even though it's like nowhere near Halloween. But Hey, I'm always down for a little bit of Halloween, aren't y'all? Contestants will have to put their hand into the candy bowl. In this candy bowl, the contestants will either get a trick or a treat. We will specifically be looking for one thing in this bowl, and that's ghosts. That's correct. If a contestant sticks their hand into the candy bowl, and ghosts erupt from it, they will win the power of veto. Now you may be asking, Dylan, what if multiple people get ghosts when they stick their hands into the candy bowl? Then those people will go into a tiebreaker round. So it all comes down to do they have the luck of the draw from the trick or treat candy bowl. The veto competition has been explained. It is now time for each of our contestants to step up to the plate and figure out do they have the luck of the draw. All right, first up to stick their hand in the candy bowl is Demogorgon. Let's see what he pulls out. Three, two, one, go. 
Congratulations, Devin Corgan has managed to get ghosts on his very first try. That's amazing. If no one else in the cast manages to pull ghosts from the candy bowl, then that means Demogorgon wins the power of veto and will keep the nominations the same. The next person up for grabs in this trick-or-treat veto competition is Amanda Young. Amanda, you have to pull ghosts. Otherwise, Demogorgon is that much closer to winning this power of veto. Three, two, one, go. Oh, I am so sorry, Amanda Young. That is not ghosts. You do get a little bit of a treat, but sadly, that does mean that you have been eliminated from this veto competition. The next contestant going for the potential power of veto is Jennifer Check. If Jennifer Check manages to pull ghosts from this candy bowl, it means she is potentially going to win the power of veto and can save herself from eviction. Three, two, one, go. Oh, I am so sorry, Jennifer Check. That is not ghosts. You have been eliminated from this veto competition. So far, no one else has been able to get ghosts from this candy bowl. Will Sadako be the one to finally get it and stop Demogorgon from automatically winning this power of veto? We'll have to see. Sadako, good luck, girl. Three, two, one, go. I forgot to cue her again. Three, two, one, go. Oh my God. <laughs> Sadly, that is not go, Sadako, which means you have been eliminated from this veto competition. There are only two contestants left that could potentially knock Demogorgon out of the running to win the power of veto, and that's Xenomorph and Chica. Xenomorph. Reminder, you have to pull ghosts from this candy bowl. Otherwise, only Chica has the potential to stop Demogorgon from winning the power of veto. Three, two, one, go. Oh, I'm so sorry. With the zombie hand, that does mean you have sadly been eliminated from this veto competition, Xenomorph. It all comes down to this. If Chica does not manage to have ghosts come out of this candy bowl, Demogorgon will win the power of veto and will keep the nominations the exact same. Three, two, one, go. Oh, and with that, Congratulations, Demogorgon! You have won the power of veto, which means the nominations will stay the same, and that means either Chica or Jennifer Check will be the first person evicted from the Horror Big Brother Mansion. Congratulations once again to Demogorgon for winning the power of veto because he won the power of veto, and his targets this week are Jennifer Check and Chica, the nominations will stay the same. So now it is up to the rest of the cast. One by one, they will all walk to the confessional booth and let me know who it is that they vote to be evicted from the Horror Big Brother Mansion. Whoever is voted out will immediately have to pack up their bags and leave the mansion and will not be able to re-enter the game. That's right, there are no comebacks in Horror Big Brother. First up to vote is Valak. Now, Valak seems to have not made too many waves in the house, so it is going to be interesting to see who she decides to vote for. Valak, who do you vote out of the Horror Big Brother mansion? Thank you very much. Michael Myers has been kind of a loner in the house. Who has made the strongest relationship with Michael to maybe save themselves in this game? Michael, who do you vote out of the Big Brother Mansion? Thank you very much. Xenomorph has been in a lot of different conversations in the Big Brother Mansion and has a pretty good relationship with both of the nominees. Let's see who they vote out. Xenomorph, who do you vote to evict? Thank you very much. Megan has made a lot of people angry in the mansion. In fact, many were shocked she wasn't nominated this week. Let's see who she decides to evict. Megan, 
who do you vote to evict from the Big Brother Mansion? Thank you very much. Despite Predator getting sick, his gameplay has not been sickening thus far. Let's see if he can vote someone good out tonight. Predator, who do you vote to evict? Thank you very much. Leatherface has shown a different side of his personality in the mansion, but will he be his brutal self in the vote tonight? Leatherface, who do you vote to evict? Thank you very much. Despite being the sad girl in the house, she has made waves with some of these contestants. With a murder token in her back pocket, who will she vote to evict tonight? Sadako, who do you vote to evict? Thank you very much. While being the fan favorite in the game, Tiffany has shown that she can make many alliances within the house. Tiffany, who do you vote to evict tonight? Thank you. Pearl has been a bit of a sweetheart to everybody inside the mansion, but will she be a bit more cutthroat in this vote? Pearl, who do you vote to evict? Thank you very much. Amanda Young has shown that she can be a social threat in this house, making many different alliances and friendships along the way. Who does she deem is a threat to her game? Amanda, who do you vote to evict tonight? Thank you very much. Freddy Krueger's been playing a little bit in the background this entire game. Will he make a move tonight? Let's find out. Freddy, who do you vote to evict? Thank you. Jason Voorhees has got the entire house scared, but will he play a scared game tonight with how he votes? Jason, who do you vote to evict from the Big Brother Mansion? Thank you very much. So far, it's six votes Jennifer, six votes Chica. It all comes down to Ghostface vote. Ghostface has gotten himself in a few fights in this house, so it's really up in the air who he will decide to evict tonight. Ghostface, who do you vote to evict? Thank you very much. With seven votes, that does mean Jennifer Check has been evicted from the Big Brother Mansion. Let's break the news to the contestants. Before we reveal the votes to the house guests, a reminder that YouTube members got behind the scenes access of how the votes laid out tonight. They got to see all the relationship scores, and they got to learn a little bit of tea of how this show is made. So make sure to join the YouTube members if you want to get that behind the scenes access. Now to reveal the votes. House guess with a vote of seven to six. The first person evicted from Horror Big Brother is Jennifer Check. I am so sorry, Jennifer. You are the first person evicted from the Horror Big Brother house. And just like that, there goes Jennifer Check from the Horror Big Brother mansion. And with that, we have our very first person eliminated from Horror Big Brother. Demogorgon had a target and that target was eliminated. If you enjoyed this video, please make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the YouTube channel. We're trying to get back up to 100,000 subscribers. And if you enjoyed, please leave a comment down below. It helps us out tremendously uh, by pushing us further into the algorithm. How did you feel about this episode? Who are you rooting for? Are you sad that Jennifer Check was the first eliminated? We will be back next week with yet another episode of Horror Big Brother, where someone will win head of household and someone will go home. And until then, stay awesome, stay beautiful, you lovely people. And until then, stay awesome, stay beautiful. I just said that twice. <laughs> hey, it's, it's a late night. All right, <laughs> bear with me. Bye!